Don't tell the middle school principal that I stole his parking spot, but <laughs> I'm here. Calvin Castine at Northern Adirondack Central School. It's June 9th, 2023, and we're here for the annual event in Northern Adirondack FFA Ag Fair. I'm going to take a, a few videos around and uh, see what's happening. See some familiar faces along the way and some smiling youngsters. All the elementary grades uh, get at least one trip out to the to the happenings here so they can know what uh, is taking place and get to see a few animals and play a few games and maybe uh, someday they'll join the NAC FFA and including here today is a petting area so I'm sure there's a lot of furry little beast in there to, to be petted. It's overcast today. We've got the air isn't too bad. We, of course, uh, for those of us in 2023, we know this, but this is the, the year, the time that we had all the smoke from uh, Canada and going down as far as south as Tennessee. So it's forest fires in, in and around Canada and it's affecting our air quality down here. I'm saying this is the year because I'm hoping it's not a continual event, obviously. So we have a, air quality isn't too bad at the moment. A lot of parents uh, take advantage of this time and come here with their youngsters and it's a fun day for the community here in Allenburg Corners. And it's something that the students and community looks forward to every year. All right, a place I always plan on visiting here because I get cheese out of the, the venture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's here, Agrimark Family Dairy Farm. Yes. What do you know about that? Uh, Agrimark owns Cabot and Macadam. They, they make cheese in Vermont and make cheese in New York State. And yeah, some right over there in Chattagay, right? They do. That, that's <laughs> where I'm from. All right, well, what's your name? Kevin Leahy. All right, are you from Chattagay? Or are no, you I'm actually from 11, I live 11 miles west of Malone, just off 11B. Okay, uh, I take 11B when I'm going to Potsdam. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a milk inspector. I, I cover Franklin and Clinton County and inspect the farms to make sure that they have good quality milk. So that keeps you hopping? It does, it does. I know your predecessor used to come here uh, every year. And Sean? Yeah. Yes, Sean is uh, having carpal tunnel surgery today. Oh, so. okay, well, wish him luck. Yep, uh, yep. Uh, so this is a... Uh, you go to these kind of fairs very often? Or yes, just a we nice uh, break? we had a farm tour at Poppy Dale's on Monday in Chattagay. Okay. Yep, all the all the kids from Chattagay Central School come over and and toured the farm on Monday. Okay, I hope you brought adequate supplies here. Oh, of, we, uh, we did, we did. <laughs> yep, it's a good event, and it's uh, it's what children need. Yes. Uh, and I've gone on record before that Seriously Sharp is my favorite cheese. It so. is. It's very good. <laughs> very good. So I assume you have Seriously Sharp here today. I think we have just the Sharp today. Oh, because just the Sharp. That's oh, uh, no. what comes in the three-quarter ounce <laughs> bars. But uh, Okay. Yep. Right, who you got working with you? Uh, Monique LaFleche Warner. All right. And she does the FARM program. Now, I'm supposed to know what the FARM program it's, uh, is. It it's sounds like farm. But. It's, uh, it's a program that... Uh, is out there to make sure that the farmers treat their animals the way they should be treated uh -huh. and take care of them the way they need to be taken care of. It's more than just the milk. You want to make yes. sure that... Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And I think now she's working on workforce uh, development as far as uh, employees on a farm are treated fairly also. Oh, okay. So that's all part of what the co-op is uh, yes. interested in. Yes. So how far does that uh, footprint cover? It covers uh, all of our farms in New England and New York. We have farms in Vermont and Massachusetts and Maine and Connecticut and uh, New Hampshire. Wow, and how far in New York do you go? Uh, we, all, we go all the way to uh, Buffalo. 
Wow. Yep, we covered all of New York State. All of New York State. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So it's grown over the years. Then. It sure has. It sure has. <laughs> But the farms are getting fewer and farther between. <laughs> yes, I, on my way here, I drove through uh, Moors, and of course, uh, uh, today's the ninth in two weeks. Uh, dragoons will be having yes. their yep. dragoons farm equipment, and that's you know, it's family businesses are hard to come by. Just it is so certainly family farms, and I think Jack was telling me that uh, compared to when they opened up 70 years ago, it's about uh, you know. 95 to 99 percent of their farmers have gone out of business. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So it's just a, it's a yep. whole new world, and it we, is. We got to adapt, or yep. If you yep. don't accept it, you're not nothing you can do about the, it. So the you, small, the small farms are dwindling down. That's for sure. Yeah, there aren't too many left. No. Nope. Okay. Anything else that do you want to tell me here? No, I just enjoy the day. Okay. Have I earned enough to get a piece of cheese? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. You never know how far people will travel all the way from the West Chazy area. If you've ever heard of Parker syrup, this is one of the, there's actually two Parker syrups in the world now, you know. There's there is, that there one is. up in Lion Mountain area. But this is the original, right? Yes. This is the 1889, folks. <laughs> Parker <laughs> Family <laughs> Farm. So we got maple cotton candy here to benefit the FFA. Um, proceeds go to the FFA because my my son goes here to Northern Adirondack, and he's in the elementary FFA. He's secretary, so he asked oh, wow. me to come out and support. And we got a little bit of historical maple artifacts here as well, uh -huh. uh, doing a little bit of education, not just uh, sugaring up the little kids. Okay. And what would your name happen to be? Christina Parker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Christina, you you grew up in the maple syrup business. I did. I'm I'm the fourth generation at Parker, so my son is now the fifth. And um, maple syrup is in our blood, whether we want it to be or not. So. <laughs> Have you done any blood work to find out what percentage of your blood is maple syrup? It, well, my, my sugar, my diabetes and my sugar content are good. And they say that uh, maple syrup is, is one of the healthiest sugars you can use. So okay. we'll go with that. You know, my, my father, Earl, lived to be 88. And his favorite food was maple candy. So that says something, right? <laughs> I think I just saw your mother heading in the other direction here when they arrived. Yeah, she went to go pick up my son out of school okay. and have him help us. I'll put him we, to work. We start him off young at Parker's. <laughs> okay. Uh, Good to see you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So you're selling this stuff? and We are. $3 a container, and the kids love it so far. So we're happy to help out. All right. Thank you, Christina. Okay. We're going to continue to look around here. And uh, as we everywhere we point the camera, it's smiling faces. And uh, we're going to find the lady in charge and hopefully chat with her and get the, the, the rundown on what's happening here. Okay, some of the uh, animals here. They've got souvenir hunters. Are you you're looking for souvenirs here, are you? Yep. Yeah, look. Yeah, okay, you get to take it home when you fork some up. You get to take it home? Yep, fertilizer. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in the, the trunk of the car and <laughs> don't tell the folks what's in yep. there. <laughs> what's your name? Chris Trombley. Chris Trombley. I know another Chris Trombley in Champlain, but you're you're an Ellenberg Chris Trombley. Yep. There are Trombleys everywhere, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there used to be Tremblays, you know. Yeah, up in Canada. Yes. So, you go back a few generations, the, the spelling's a little different. My, yep. My, uh... Grandmother was from Moores, and she was a, a Trombley, and I see her father's name spelt <laughs> Tremblay, and I see it spelt Trombley with, like the Shazy people do, with no E, and then I see it spelled L-E-Y, so he had a, a whole bunch of different names, but yep. it was always the same person. Okay, so you're in the FFA? Oh, yeah. Okay, how long have you been in the FFA? Uh... I was in there since I was like fifth grade, but I've been more active the past few years. Okay. And I bet you had to uh, bid to get this job here, huh? A lot of people wanted this job here. You said... Nope. No? <laughs> we just signed our names. <laughs> After this class is the yearling champions. All right, you're doing a good job because it's nice and clean out in there. In the ring next after the yearling champion will be <laughs> your two-year-old cow calf. Mercy and Percy from Ava Castine. All right, so we're going to have the championship of this category coming right up. And I would 
that category is out there, we'll be talking Just to one heifer Karen. here, but a uh, very nice heifer. Lots of substance and strength all the way through. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations to Noah Gilmore. Now we're going to get the championship of this round. And hopefully we'll be able to chat with the lady in charge. Uh, it's like Laura. In the ring now is your yearling champion. Oh, look at Laura Phillips over there. Laura Knott you have from the, Nova from Ava Castine. She brought a youngster with her. Crescent from Kendall Trombley. And Gypsy from Noah Gilmore. She's a, After the yearling champion, we're going to go into our cow calf champion, cow calf, Mercy and Percy from Ava Castine. And then Sugar Cube and Spartan from Brie Perrier. All right, very fancy names and some of the upcoming contestants here. I was saying, uh, <laughs> Laura's here with, she's a teacher here and she looks like she brought one of her, her children along to experience today. Homer Bushy first got us, uh, he used to be the ag teacher here at uh, FFA, here at uh, Northern Adirondack, and he's the one who first got us involved and I know he's still heavily involved. He helps out at the county fair and uh, Homer is still very much involved in what's happening in and around with the FFA situation. All right, we have the lady in charge now. What's your, you're, you're not a student, right? No, no I'm not a student anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> it's been a few years. But you're still learning though, right? <laughs> still learning. We're always learning as we get older. All right, what's your name? My name is Karen the Bombard. All right, and Karen, uh, this is the yearling this is the, grand champion. This is the yearling champion class right now for the beef. Okay, now tell us what we're looking at. Is that a black Angus in the front? That here? is a black Angus in front. All right, the next one I'd be hard to guess. What and that, that is. is a is a shorthorn. A shorthorn, huh? And a Hereford. And a Hereford, all right. Okay, no longhorns. No longhorns, <laughs> nope, no longhorns today. <laughs> have you ever had a longhorn in this? No, we have not. All right, not we'll in my... get some Texas people to I know, here right? Maybe relocate. they can bring some warmer weather, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this uh, event was... Was it a couple years that you didn't have it, or uh, a couple years during COVID, we didn't have the event. So this is our this will this is the 61st uh, FFA school fair. Time marches on, huh? Yes, it does. And it's something you know, it's something the whole community looks forward to. You know, you get people who are students here uh, have come back, uh, two three generations. Yeah, former you know. former alumni come back and they they help. I have a lot of alumni that are here helping today, helping run the run everything. Without them, it would be hard to do. And you've got uh, all these youngsters coming up. I, I imagine this helps uh, get a, a few people involved, you know, the kids involved when they come here and they experience this, and it makes them look forward to someday I'll be big enough to yes uh, yes we're we're now starting them off in the fourth grade um, and we have a fourth and fourth and fifth grade chapter with about 60 60 kids that we meet usually once a month throughout the school year and there's a lot of younger kids showing right now and of course it's more than just cattle you, you do the whole gamut yep we have, we have cattle we have um, the small animals that are in my ag room um, a lot of kids are involved in different things we have the ma we have the maple kids here today doing stuff uh, so we have a variety of students that do a lot of different things we have kids that are in plant science um, all kinds of different avenues that we can go into now these days for agriculture Yes, I think last year I bought some tomato plants here. Cause you, yep. if you had There's some beautiful cucumber plants over there right now if you're looking to, for some cucumbers too. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do your summer shopping right here at this Ab Ag Fair. Absolutely. Now, today's the uh, second uh, Friday in June. It's usually roughly around this time, right? Um, normally we usually have it around the end of May, but we had to kind of switch things around. Um, I do like it at the later part of um of the school year, uh, it's, it's a lot less chaos for some of the kids. So, and uh, the further you go along in the in the year, the 
more chance of getting decent weather. Yes, yes. So luckily today it started off a little rainy and now the sun's coming out, which is, which, is a, which is good. Okay. Just and you got judge, you where's your judges from today? Our judges are from uh, North Bangor area right today. So that's Mike There's Maloney and Alyssa Aubin. Really, really nice heifers out here okay. today. So Anything else you'd like to tell us, Karen, as we wander around? It's, it's mass and substance all uh, the way through. The go through, uh, go really through and look at all the animals uh, and look at all the different exhibits the kids have put. They put a lot of time and work into their animals and everything that they're exhibiting today. Go and enjoy some delicious food from our from Phelan and Debbie Miner, who are who are our cooks, and they always do a great job for us. Okay, I want. And there's some delicious maple cotton candy over there too. So, congratulations to Ava Castine for being the and uh, champion. point out to and people the in the community, your you're welcome to show up here. Absolutely. So this is a public event. Come on and Pastine, support the kids. Mercy yeah, so and next Percy. year, look at that FFA, uh, NAC FFA Ag uh, and the Facebook page, and you can yep. find a date. And yep, absolutely. Cal -Cal. Right, I'll let you get back to work. All right. Thank you. Fire. Thank you, Karen. All right. We will continue to wander around, and we'll have to buy a Michigan from our buddy Phelan before we leave here. But uh, as I said, a lot of familiar faces when we show up at this. Uh, people we've been seeing for the past uh, 30 plus years when we've come to these. And uh, it's just a, a great event for the students. And as I said, I can't overemphasize a great community event. And if you get in line, you can get some Cabot cheese. Hi there. Hi. What are these beasts? These chickens? These are my ducks. So these are your ducks, huh? Right? The white ones are white crested ducks, and the brown ones are fawn runners. Okay, what's your name? Tyler LeClaire. Tyler LeClaire. There's a lot of LeClaires up this way, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, the one with the fluffiest hair? Yes. His name is Bubbles. And then the second white crested, her name is Betty Buffon. <laughs> and then the one with the green nose, green beak, uh -huh. yeah. her name is Doe, and then there's Bambi. Alright, so how'd you get interested in ducks? Uh, it wasn't really me, it was my mother, but first she was interested in chickens, since she always wanted chickens, she liked fresh eggs, and then she saw the ducks. <laughs> so I, we got them, I really liked them, and then we custom ordered these guys. Costed us quite a bit, but they're honestly pretty nice All to right. have. How many of them are, are egg layers? If... Uh, none of these right now are egg layers. They're still a bit too young. Okay. We have two ducks back at home, uh, two Cayugas, and they're egg layers. They're the only duck egg layers that we have. And then we have three chickens that are egg laying right now. And then we have 15 chickens that are too young still. Okay. Now I know chickens lay, if they're good chickens, they'll lay one egg a day. Uh, how about the ducks? How often do they lay an egg? Uh, like the chickens, it's one to two a day. Is it? Yeah. If either they lay early, really early in the morning and really late, or right around midday. Yeah, you keep them well fed then. Yeah. They're spoiled. <laughs> I got them a whole thing of treats to give them out. Uh, <laughs> We have lettuce and mealworms, pears, apple, and cucumbers. All right. Look how popular they are with the kids here. Yeah, I've, I've had quite a few people stop by. <laughs> I think they could use a bigger, uh, a bigger swimming pool, though. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, we have three at home, and they all use their own separate pools. They're dirty, though. They have to water has to be replaced multiple times a day. We just replaced them, and they're already getting this one dirty. <laughs> so you're saying they're a lot of work. You gotta, you gotta like them to. to you gotta like them to have them. Yes. And uh, it probably costs you more in feed than what you're getting out of them in eggs. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. But it's a nice thing to have. That's still. Right. Yeah, you get pets, you know. Because there's the times when stuff gets too pricey, and it's nice to not have to go to the store for stuff. Right. Okay, well, we'll let you get back here to... Oh, that one there is flapping his wings there. Thank you for chatting with us. Yep. Okay, we'll continue right along here. Look at this young duck lover here. No farms, no food. 
And it looked like that could be a black Angus right there. And they've got the, all kinds of animals here, pigs. These do not feed or touch any animals. Who's in charge here? You're in charge. That guy there pointed right at you here. I used to buy cough drops called Smith Brothers, and the Smith Brothers both had beards just like that. <laughs> You're not a Smith, though. No. No, who are you? Um, I'm Madison Relation. Madison Relation. And what are these lovely they're, beasts? They're Berkshire pigs. Is this as big as they're going to get? No, not <laughs> even close. They're only like 12 weeks old. 12 weeks old, so there must be a mother at your place that... Uh, no, nope, we went and picked them up. We went and picked them up. We adopted a couple of pigs. Yep. Okay. And these are the only pigs you own? We have two other ones. Yeah, the other ones... The other ones are a different breed. The Oop. other one's name is Pam, and um, the... So there's this one that looks like a brownie, her name is Dolly, and then the biggest one, his name is Pam. Is that... Is that another relation? No, her last name's Dupree. That's uh, my little sister. Your little sister. Yep. She's, so she's a relation relative. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She jumped right in here. She, yep. Uh, did she do that often? Yep. Yep. <laughs> you don't mind at all, do you? No. Okay. Keep saying that. Okay. What grade are you in? Um, I'm a sophomore in 10. And what grade is this little Dupree girl in? Um, I'm in fourth. Fourth grade. Oh, so you're just here visiting. Oh, okay. FFA. She's in the FFA because yeah. Karen just told me fourth graders now. Yep. And so she's got the day off, so to speak, here. Yep. Putting her to work. Making her scoop the poop. Scoop the poop. <laughs> All right, another friend. She's making her friends famous. Anything else you'd like to tell us? Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? All I think right. that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Moving right along here is we, where we left our youngsters and there are, there's our rabbit. Not sure if it's our wascally rabbit or not, but there is a rabbit. And some merds here, scarlet and sparkles. A couple of chicken varieties. Another rabbit over this way. And down here, part of the petting area. Please do not feed or touch. Well, how can they call this a petting area here. A couple of goats, including a very tiny one right there. Very tiny one that's enjoying that, that hay. And the bigger one is really not big. <laughs> so where is the petting area? I guess there is no petting area. You can get stay here and get your picture taken. Well, it says petting zoo, but uh, uh, for the most part, maybe the that little heifer they could they could pet that one. Kids are still arriving when we got here. The kids were some kids were going back into the school, so they'd come for an early visit, and and now we got uh, kids arriving here and. Every one of them with a smile on their face. All right, we are stopped into the busiest booth in town here. <laughs> I, I first met this fella here. He was flipping pancakes for Jack Dragoon. <laughs> Many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and look how he's gone. Look how he's proved here. He's flipping burgers now. Well, you've come a long way, Phelan. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was told to come visit this booth. Who you got working with you? This is my bun man. Your bun man. Who's your bun man? Tim Alden. Okay, and who's that young lady over there? That's that, your daughter? That's my beautiful bride of 45 years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and, what's, <laughs> and what's her name? Huh? You see if he remembers that. Deborah. <laughs> I don't go by Deborah, sorry. She goes by Debbie though. <laughs> and you're failing. You're a, you're a minor. Yeah, I'm failing all the time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's been failing from the get-go. Right, Mr. Primo? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> You've been waiting here for 15 minutes to get your burgers? I'm used Ser to it. Service is kind of slow here. Well, it's, uh, <clears throat> we had to bleed the beef. 
We've got to wait till the champion is selected. Yeah, we've got to wait for the champion. It was uh -oh. switching, so we got rid of it. Uh-oh, this is the last year that Phelan works here. <laughs> okay, there's a steady lineup. They've got my order in there. Hopefully, they're working on it. Working on your cheeseburgers right now. All right, and we're going to... Uh, Probably wrap it up if I uh, come back, uh, come back for another episode if I see something on the way through here. So once again, this might be the end, but we never know. Well, if it is, it is. If it ain't, <laughs> we'll have more to say.